fact of the matter is you're paying almost $400 for this watch. You shouldn't have a Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today we're looking at the Basecamp Cali Bronze Watch from Undone. This is the first Undone watch on the channel, so I'm looking forward to reviewing it for your viewing pleasure. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and also click a like. That is the most charitable way to help support the channel. So with no further ado, let's dive into the unboxing slash review oh yeah all right so let's uh, dive into the box here give you guys the unboxing experience you've got undone here and it's kind of like a really silky smooth box I make you silky smooth i oh. tell you this it's got the flip up top and got some good protection here um, it does come with a warranty card undone individuality matters this one is dated 8-26-2021, one year warranty. Okay, so we take the foam off and here's the watch. I already did have it out, so don't worry guys, when you see it, it actually is already starting to patina. But I wanted to give you guys the unboxing experience. So there's the sticker, and that's about all I'll be able to give you today. And it comes on a pretty standard pillow. So, you know, packaging is good. Not a problem there. We have a lot of patina here. Um, and it actually came like what you see here on the buckle. It's It was very rose gold in tone. And even a case side still looking kind of rosy. But any, any of the points that I've actually touched with the oils of my hand have actually have started to turn it. And it's definitely starting to patina very nicely. Look at that crown. It's already turning green. Loving it. Loving it. This is my first experience with a bronze watch. You notice the California dial, which has the Roman numerals in the upper half. And the lower half is Arabic. Look at that textured dial. Diamond pattern. Very, very nicely done. You've got the Mercedes hands with, I'm gonna call it the crayon um, minute hand there. And look at the lollipop second hand with the kind of like a lollipop counterbalance. Uh, we definitely have full luminescence on all the numerals on the lollipop and on the handset itself. We do have a boxed crystal, look at that. It is definitely a domed box crystal. Because I'm actually curious to see if we have sapphire here. And we definitely do not have sapphire there. This one also has an exhibition case back. And we have no sapphire there as well. Okay, so, so this has a uh, LEXAN Lexan polycarbonate acrylic crystal. As you can see, it is boxed and domed and it does have that distortion the case back itself is a mineral crystal um, definitely not a polycarbonate and as you can see it actually has the average joe logo which actually i just upgraded uh, the logo um, just before the or just after the collaboration with undone so this will actually be reminiscent of what the logo used to be so very nice touch they can actually do custom work for you as the customer um, for a small additional charge you can see it does have the 316l stainless steel backing um, which is a nice touch 100 meters of pressure tested water resistance you want that stainless steel on the case back because you don't want that bronze touching your skin because as the bronze does patina, it will also stain your wrist and your wrist will start turning green 
and you don't want that. So um, I definitely like the fact that they do the stainless steel case. And you can see that the crown is going to definitely get more of the patina, at least the first patina and probably more of the patina as opposed to the rest of the case because that's what you're touching the most with the oils of your skin. It will start turning that green and you can definitely see that. You do have a sign crown here and you've got like an octagonal um, crown here and it is a screw down crown pops out and then it actually has two positions now on the website it says it has an nh35 backslash nh39 now i know for a fact that this is an nh35 movement um which is in for me if you're if you're a company producing watches um, there's really no reason why you should not have a date complication on this watch if you have two positions. Because look, I mean, there's your first position, and you can hear it. That would be the date complication. So you already have the movement. All you need to do is cut a square out here and put the, uh, the, the date wheel in, and you've got that complication. Not really sure why you wouldn't include that if you have the movement because now you have yourself a ghost movement or a ghost position because if you click it out one more position you've got the hacking and you set the time fact of the matter is you're paying almost four hundred dollars for this watch you shouldn't have a ghost position on a watch that's not modified i mean this is a manufactured watch from the company so uh, I'm going to definitely give it a knock here for that. Uh, it really should not have that ghost position. Now, granted, an NH35 is a very robust movement, and you're not going to have any problems or issues with it. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't want you to worry there, but um, I'm just a bit confused as to why you would dig into your part bin and put it into a design that does not have a date function it just uh, it, it really baffles me so um so that's definitely a knock there we do have 20 millimeter uh, 20 millimeter lug width we have a 40 millimeter case diameter we're looking at 48 millimeters lug to lug our width is 15 millimeters and a lot of that is actually you know it doesn't look as thick as 15 millimeters but this domed acrylic crystal is really adding that depth and so does the exhibition case back adds a little bit of depth as well even though it doesn't appear to be that thick i do have a seven inch wrist so and i actually went with the um the Cordura fabric strap here. So let me just show you that real quick. It has the undone labeling in there. This is a Cordura fabric. This is like a synthetic leather, very comfortable on the wrist. Um, you can see I have worn this uh, quite a bit here. Get a little bit of that fraying action here, but I mean, not nothing too bad, nothing I'm really worried about. Um, it does seem like a pretty quality strap. Um, no padding or anything, but it is a comfortable strap. Um, very flexible right out of the box. No issue there. You can take it into the... Uh, I don't know if you can take this into the water. That's, that's, the, the backing is what really throws me off. So um, I, I'm against the fence on that one. You may want to switch out your strap if you want to do that. I do like the buckle, though. It's, it is done or undone very nicely. Um, you've got some really, got some polishing here, some brushing. Um, they really, really did a nice job with the buckle indeed. So here it is on the seven inch wrist, fits perfectly like a glove, doesn't get in the way. It actually is light at 66 grams. We do have the first time on the channel, a bi-directional friction bezel. So there is no, you know, notches, there's no 120 click or anything. This thing is just smooth, um, but it doesn't move easy. I mean, you can see that I'm putting a little bit of uh, pressure there. It's not moving, but it does move smoothly when you do want it to move. You could take a look at the 
edging there. Um, not quite a coin edge, but um, definitely plenty of grip, and you do see that it is polished. Um, there is nice finishing all throughout the watch. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I think they did a nice job with the watch. I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys some final thoughts. All right, just a few final thoughts here on the Undone watch. This is my first experience with Undone. Um, feels like a quality piece. Um, I do like the fact that uh, this is my first experience with a bronze watch. And I'm going to definitely appreciate uh, you know, watching it patina. The uh, ghost function is definitely a, uh, a setback for me with this particular watch. Uh, when you're paying $400 for, for, for a timepiece, um, you don't expect to get the extra movements put into a watch that does not take a date function. So um, definitely a knock there. Um, I'm also questioning the strap. I mean, I do like the fact that it is a, qu a quick change strap. Um, so it does come with that quick change system. Um, but I do question the durability of these straps. Um, it is a fabric strap, but it does, you know, you, I'm seeing a little bit of fraying already at the holes. Um, not the most quality strap and i also i just questioned the leathering or should i say the leatherette backing um since this is a diver watch i'd like to take this into the water but i'm not so sure i would with this particular strap to their credit they do offer you a variety of straps including nato um obviously you can choose leather which would even be worse than this particular option but um you can get aftermarket straps so i'm not really knocking the the, the you know this watch on straps um, I think the other thing, you know, if you're paying $400 for a watch, I'm expecting to have a sapphire crystal. You're getting a some type of proprietary polycarbonate uh, acrylic um, crystal. Um, I'd like to see sapphire at this at this price point. Um, but enough of the negatives. Let's get into some positives. Uh, the bronze material is actually finished very nicely. It's got some nice brushing to it. It's got some nice details. I like the edging of the bezel. Um, you do have that bi-directional bezel, which actually um, doesn't freely move. Um, but when you do move it, it does feel like quality. You know, the dial is actually done extremely nicely with that diamond pattern and the buckle is actually above average um, with the finishing for sure. So, and of course the custom case back is a huge plus for anyone that wants to, you know, have something um, custom, you know, like this. So I think that's a really, really cool touch as well from Undone. So, you know, this watch, I think it's cool. I think it's a little pricey for my particular taste, uh, but you will pay a little bit of a premium when it comes to bronze. So uh, keep that in mind when looking at this particular watch. So this watch is, uh, it's, got its, it's got its quirks, but um, I do enjoy it. And I'd like to know what you guys think down below. That's my two cents, you can keep the change and always remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. And I'll see you guys next time on Average Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.